Well, 2020 sucked. Uh, I had plans to hike the Appalachian Trail. Uh, it was supposed to start April the 6th. Uh, unfortunately, because of um, restrictions, international travel, I couldn't get into the United States. Uh, so uh, I, I spent uh, 2020 hiking around Ontario, which is about the best I could do. Uh, but I did have uh, all my gear sorted out for the Appalachian Trail, dialed in pretty darn good, I think. So next year, I don't expect to do the Appalachian Trail uh, until things stabilize. So I'm going to be staying in Canada next year and I'm going to attempt the Great Divide Trail uh, with my good friend Chris. Now there's a couple things I need differently from my Appalachian Trail uh, list, gear list. Uh, one of them is a quilt. Uh, requiring a kilt that can handle colder weather. Uh, so right now I have a um, 30 degree bag uh, from Katabatic, uh, rather like it, nicely designed bag. Uh, but I was searching around um, uh, Z-Pak's website and they have a 10 degree quilt and it's designed differently and the design actually intrigues me. Uh, it seems to be very simple. Uh, they have only what you need and nothing that you don't. Uh, the options are much less than you have with Katabatic and Lighten Equipment. Um, so they've narrowed it down to just a few things I can choose. Um, color, temperature rating, and you can change the, uh, the length and the girth as well. So I have chosen a, a regular length, uh, a wide quilt, 10 degree bag, and hopefully that'll keep me nice and warm. So I've got it in the box here, and I'm gonna show you what I've got. We're looking at it together for the first time. The drama, the excitement, the thrills, the spills. Okay, let's just see what we got here. Okay. Uh, we don't wanna cut it. Cut the bag, so we just have to do it a slight cut on the top. Okay, let's put away that knife. Ah, there it is. It comes with a Z-Pack sticker, like that. And it comes in a water resistant stuff sack. And I say water resistant because um, their stuff sacks are um, made out of a waterproof material. They're seam sealed, but they aren't uh, water resistant as a regular water bag would be for canoeing, but they're perfect for backpacking. I ordered this funky blue. Let me get rid of my... I ordered this funky blue, which I rather like. Oh. Huh. Wow exactly what I thought. The loft on this bag is supposed to be, I'll have to look it up, but I think it's about two and a half to three inches, which should give us a rating of around 10 degrees. And I say 10 degrees in American. And one of the things I like about this is it's only got one strap and it's a fixed strap opposed to a stretchy one. Stretchy ones, I find that they seem to slide on the uh, your bedroll and they don't always stay affixed. Uh, I have a Katabatic uh, quilt uh, and it uses uh, fixed cords uh, and it stays rock solid. And uh, there's a couple other things about its design that I rather like. Um, it, it's a, a differential cut. Uh, so when it wraps around you, it naturally stays in that position. It also has beading along the inside where uh, it would touch the uh, your sleep pad, which actually keeps it tighter as well. Then their fixed cords also keep it nice and tight, so they stay really streamlined. It looks like, why I, I like the look of this one, is they've trimmed it down to only what you need. Now, they have a square, a straight opening here, almost as if you put a zipper there, it would close up fully. So I imagine when I tighten this up tight on my uh, bedroll, it will um, stay very flat because I'm actually gonna be sleeping on part of it rather than being on the edges. Um, I hope that makes sense to you. Anyway, it looks freaking awesome. 
well, I'm looking forward to getting it out and trying it out and giving it uh, a proper review and comparing it to, let me just get rid of that, and comparing it to what else I have. Um, I have a Sierra Design quilt. I think they call it the, um, heck, I don't remember what it's called. I used that for several years, rather liked it. It has no attachments to your sleep pad. It has these hand grips and a head, a um, thing that you can put your head in uh, to keep you warm on those really t uh, cool nights. Unfortunately, its design didn't work for me as well as I would have liked, and I often got cold at night when sleeping in it. Then I got my Enlightened Equipment. Rather liked it. Nicely designed. In fact, at a quick glance, it looks like it's very similar to my um, new Z-Pax quilt here in, in quality and design. Um, the one thing I did, though, is I only got it in a regular length, regular width. And... Uh, no matter how much I tried, I always got drafting along the sides as I turned at night. So I thought maybe that was a, a problem with the quilt design in general. Uh, so I tried it one more time. I got the Catabatic quilt. Worked perfect. Loved it. Also got a, a regular length, uh, a wide girth, uh, and that seemed to make, do the trick. Um, plus it's design, of course. Uh, so. Now that I'm going for a uh, warmer quilt, I'm trying another brand yet again, the Z-Packs, and I've had always good luck with their products, whether it's my tent or my backpack. I always had good luck with their quality and their design. Now, again, one of the reasons I'm looking forward to it is it seems to be super, super simple. Um, they've, uh, again, trimmed all the options, and made it uh, only what you need and nothing that you don't. And I kind of like that idea. That seems to be the philosophy of most of their gear. In any case, stay tuned. I'll have a proper review shortly. Looking forward to getting out into my backyard laboratory uh, to test it out because the temperatures outside now are approaching freezing. Yay! For the campologist, it's a yay to test out your gear in the backyard. Dudley out. <laughs>